finally, the founding father of Restore the Snyderverse is here. Obviously, I'm joking, I'm not the founding father, but I did. I was on the Restore the Snyderverse, Restore the Snyder Cut, years before most other people started talking about it and started trying to get clout about it. So, potentially, the Snyderverse could be restored very soon, potentially so. Yo, what is freaking good YouTube voice you here? If you are new around and make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC based content we do on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video and comment every single thing down below to help this video grow. If you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice, just check us out on Instagram at Warstu on Instagram. And if you could follow us on Twitter, Warstu G right. Let's get into this video. So Warner Bros. Discovery haven't had the easiest acquisition of Warner Brothers. They've had Ezra Miller allegedly grooming children, throwing the Flash into disarray. Warner Bros. have unofficially come out via WB Insulator and said, we want nothing to do with him post the Flash movie, which tells you they know what's going on behind the scenes and they can't even save him because beforehand they're like, yeah, we're still going to work with him. So, the Flash movie cost $200 million to make. And if they wanted to, they could reshoot the whole movie, but they're not going to. Not because they can't, because they don't want to. And in a recent video I posted, people were like, well, they, they, there was a reason to redo the Justice League movie, was there? There was such a reason to reshoot the Justice League movie that Zack Snyder's Justice League movie came out during the pandemic, did very well. And they're just about to release it on digital because it because there was a whole purpose to to reshoot Zach's original work. Yeah, lads. Yeah, you really need to read the room better. I, I, I'm guessing people like that can't read rooms very well. So we are getting Zack Snyder's Justice League on digital just before San Diego Comic Con 2022, where I've been told by multiple people. That there will be a huge announcement for Zack Snyder's Snyderverse to be restored in full. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I've been told this multiple times. The narrative hasn't changed since Zack Snyder's Justice League movie came out. I've been told that WB Discovery will essentially be restoring everything. Justice League 2, Justice League 3, even option for the Ben Affleck movie. Henry Cavill still Superman, and hence why... Recently, the, the Rock has come out and basically said, "Yeah," uh, he, he replied to that post and basically confirmed there is a Superman gonna be in Black Adam. Now I know My Time to Shine does have a very good credibility, a very good track record saying it's gonna be a face of Superman, but I'm hearing it's not gonna be a face of Superman. I'm hearing it's actually gonna be Henry Cavill Superman who is gonna be in Black Adam. Now I don't know if that's gonna happen. So if this does happen, this will break the internet, it will break Comic-Con, and it will actually make DC bigger than Marvel temporarily in terms of the internet space because this is the restored Snyderverse, Zack Snyder Just League, in terms of social media engagement, destroyed anything to do with Marvel. Literally destroyed Marvel massively. So if this does happen temporarily, DC will have like a massive surge gate. And they could use this to kind of get away from the whole Amber Heard situation and the whole Flash situation. Oh yeah, but Amber Heard's in that movie and, and Ezra Miller Flash is in that movie. They can easily replace the Flash. They can easily replace Amber Heard. Don't be one of them people thinking they can't replace two characters because then that's not the Snyderverse. The Snyderverse... Predominantly, has to have Zack Snyder involved with it. I understand that a lot of people don't actually understand what the Snyderverse is, realistically. I mean, technically, you could say all the work he's doing over at Netflix, Rebel Moon, is part of the Snyderverse, because he is, he is Snyder, and it's his verse. It's not limited to DC content. Although, I get why a lot of people seem to think it is limited to DC content. So, that's what I've been told. I've been told that the Snyderverse is going to be restored at San Diego Comic-Con, by Warner Bros. Discovery, although I was told a few weeks ago that was actually going to happen at DC Fandome, but since they have revealed that on the 19th of July, the Zack Snyder's Justice League movie will be going to digital, allegedly, the people that told me it was going to happen at DC Fandome are now telling me it's actually going to be happening much sooner at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Now, this would be cool. Why? Because DC is in disarray. 
And they would still be in disarray even if there wasn't the crazy lunatic Ezra Miller allegedly running around doing loads of crazy stuff. I mean, even threatening to knock someone out because they were nervous to meet him. Like, yo, what is that about? The Amber Heard situation that's getting worse. She's trying to get a hole thrown out because she doesn't believe she lost even though she got owned. It really would help DC's situation temporarily, but not really. Because what you've got to understand is even if... The Snyderverse gets restored, which I'm pretty sure it will. I've been saying this for years. I said the exact same thing about Restore the Snyderverse. I said the exact same thing about the Zack Snyder Justice movie coming out, and it came out. And then you all literally said to me, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Warshoe. You're right. I'm very confident it's going to come out. But what I won't do, what a lot of these other small channels are doing is, I'm not going to keep making Snyderverse content daily absolutely daily every single day of the week because that is pointless yes dc has a huge issue with movies at the moment it has a really big issue with a flash with aquaman i mean the only one that's really test screened well i guess you could say is shazam 2 black adam tested okay i don't believe snyderverse can save everything because everything they've made predominantly has to come out anyway because a lot of people don't understand that movies are actually financed by investors and shareholders and they want their money back. They don't care for whoever makes it. They just want movies made and money made. That's how business works. It doesn't really take your personality or it doesn't take in ethos or anything like that realistically. So either way, even if this information is true and later this month at San Diego Comic Con that Warner Bros. Discovery's first big power play is to bring Zack Snyder back in and be like, yo, Snyderverse is coming. They're not really going to be able to do too much with it at the moment because he's working with Netflix on Rebel Moon, etc., which is like his version of Star Wars, if you like. He's going to be over there for a few years. So even if everything does get restored at San Diego Comic-Con 2022, don't be expecting Zack to be working on the next Justice League 2 instantly and for, as far as I'm aware Henry Cavill Superman is coming back to be a full-time Superman it is never done the cape is still in the closet as he said multiple times and as I've said multiple times Henry Cavill is still Superman you've got to be very careful which YouTubers you listen to which insiders you listen to which Twitter super duper scoopers you listen to because some people like to push their own narratives, and a lot of people seem, seem to think I like to push my own narrative. No, I push the narrative of whatever I'm told and whatever I believe is real, and I put it out there. I'm very different to other YouTubers. I'm transparent. If I don't know something, I'll say I don't know something. If I don't know something, I'll look into it, and then I'll tell you I looked into it. But I'm not going to make out I'm an expert in absolutely everything like every single person does because realistically if you are an expert in every single comic book you'd have to be over 100 years old so like always guys let me know do you want the snyder verse to be restored at san diego comic con would you go freaking insane do you believe henry cavill is going to be in black adam you know if not black adam shazam too but i've heard he's in literally both of them I mean, he was technically in america when they were filming both of them so black adam could be in shazam too would make sense he could be in Black Adam as well. And the Snyderverse could be restored later this month. That would be fantastic. Like always, guys. Audio is going to sound a little bit different because I'm still away on my vacation. But as soon as we're back, we'll get back on that grind. So thank you very much for checking in today, guys. Please view this video 10 times so it gets more views. Please like, subscribe, comment every single time you can so we get more comments on this video. Please follow me on Instagram at WarStew. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.